Welcome back everyone to AHSAA TV Weekly. Welcome to our program now Weaver High School wrestling coach Andrew Fulmer and senior wrestler Chris Thornton. Welcome guys. Thank you for having us. Well coach, let's start with you. Tell us about your wrestling team this year. Uh, I guess one is we're very young. Chris is the, uh, we've only got two senior boys and we've got a senior girl. Um, and our other senior boy is injured. Um, had a uh, knee, knee injury, so uh, he's out for the year. So Chris is uh, our lone senior in the lineup right now. And uh, our lineup consists of uh, five eighth graders, um, two freshmen, two sophomores, and four juniors, along with Chris being our, um, our only senior. But um, this is a very young group, but um, they've, it's a very fun group to watch as well as um, what we've done so far, um, first part of the season anyways. Well, and Coach, this team, despite being young, saw huge success in the state duels wrestling tourney this past weekend. So you guys are the state uh, 1A through 4A state champions. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Coach, you are no stranger to Weaver High School Wrestling. Uh, you wrestled there yourself. Uh, tell us what it feels like to be back at your alma mater now coaching the wrestling team. Uh, it, it feels good. Um, originally, when I took over back in uh, 2004, uh, there was a lot of pressure uh, living up to Coach Gene Taylor's legacy. Um, so, uh, and a lot of that was, you know, kind of self, I guess, kind of put on myself. But um, it, it's really neat to, to come back and be able to coach at your alma mater that you spent, you know, I'm. I moved here and, and went to school here from eighth grade to uh, my, to graduation, but I only wrestled four years. Um, Coach Taylor convinced me to come out, uh, convinced me it wasn't the stuff that you do on TV. It was actual legit, you know, wrestling and not like tables and chair type stuff. So um, he um, he just had a really a really good way of you know kind of convincing you to to try things and do things. And um, really glad I gave it a chance because um, I feel like it's helped me become who I am today. Um, with, the, with what the sport has to offer. So it's, it's really special to be here at Weaver. Well, I know it's special to be able to pour into high school kids just like you once were yourself there at Weaver. So introduce us to one of those special high school students sitting right there next to you. Uh, this guy I got next to me is, um, this is his sixth year in our program. He, um, he's the, the middle of the, the three brothers. He's got an older brother that, that wrestled for us. Um, and was able to be a part of some of our, our most recent success. And he's got a younger brother as well that's a junior. Um, but this is Chris Thornton. He's a senior. He is, um, I guess the main thing I could say about him is he's just a high character kid. He's our, our spiritual leader um, with the way that he carries himself, the things he says, his actions. Um, so we're really, really excited about uh, what Chris has been able to bring to the table for us this, his senior year. Well, Chris, you are no stranger to uh, the concept of legacy. Your coach mentioned the legacy of wrestling there at Weaver High School and then also the legacy within your family. So tell us how it feels to you to carry on this legacy, not only for your school, but also for your family. Uh, it feels really good to be able to, you know, like do good things with my family, like with my last name, just being able to, you know, make an impact and, uh, it just feels really good to make history here at Weaver. Well, Chris, what are your plans after college? I mean, after high school, you're a senior this year. Do you have any future plans? Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I might be going to college for uh, for t just to do things involved with, like, church and stuff, maybe like youth pastor or something. So maybe going to school for ministry or something like that and just help out with things like in my church, being like a youth pastor, maybe know that. Well, that is fantastic. Uh, let me jump back to the duels wrestling tournament that you guys won last weekend. What does that victory mean uh, personally to yourselves and then also to the team? Um, personally, it feels really good to be able to be a part of it. Um, and with my team, it just felt really great to be able to be, you know, the first team to win the state duels. And um, it was just a real exciting moment. <laughs> Coach, same question for you. What does that victory mean to your team? Uh, it's really special. Um, I think when I was interviewed originally after, uh, directly after uh, we wrestled St. James, I think the word I said was unreal. Um, we've been, 
we've had some really good really good teams that have come through here since I've been coaching and um, I don't know this just this team is just a little bit different I feel like we're really solid from top to bottom and uh, they really especially my younger kids and uh, a lot of my a lot of my high school kids too but they they hate to lose uh, they don't want to disappoint us so it was uh, it was real special for us because um, we've won traditional state the past two years um, but the state duels has always been um, kind of I guess like a thorn in our side. We've never made it out of the quarterfinals. So um, for us to defeat the teams that we did, you know, we had to go through Dora and Corner, which they're well coached and they're high caliber teams. And then we uh, we took on JP2, who's also well coached, and then you know defeated St. James in the championship. Also, just high character people um, with quality programs. It just if it, it means the world because we've been. This has been one of those things as a coach. I really wanted kind of push through because it, this means I don't know I, traditional state means a lot but I, I feel like this uh, means a lot as well because it's the first first time we've done this and it's also um, it's the duels format so every kid has to pull their weight so every kid I feel like really contributes uh, in traditional you can have a lot of really good kids that can score a bunch of points but in duels you're relying on every single kid to pull their weight and that's exactly what this group did it was it didn't matter if it was an eighth grader in the lineup it didn't matter if it was a ninth grader a tenth grader a junior or even if it was chris being my only senior uh these guys are just they're a really special group and um really excited that they they were the group that was able to bring this back uh bring this opportunity to um, back home to weaver high school well, Coach Fulmer and Chris, congratulations on that victory and good luck the rest of the season as the wrestling season continues on. And, and congratulations on being able to carry on that legacy there at Weaver High School of high-level high outstanding wrestling. Thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this on AHSAA TV Weekly.